Hey guys, this is Matt with Comics Gaming and welcome to another Source Mode tutorial. Um, so today we're actually going to do something kind of interesting. We are going to change the game description. Now if you don't know what that is, um, like, it's what when you press find the servers in game, like, I don't know, CSS for example, um, you see the name, the players, and it says game description or description. And it usually says Counter Strike, but you can change that. Now there are two ways. Well, at least I know two ways of changing that. One is through Source Mode, and the other one is editing a DLL. So we're actually going to change that using Source Mode, and you're going to be able to put anything you want there. Um. So this was a request by a subscriber. So. Yeah, we are going to use another library here, so we're gonna include SDK hooks. Now, this is not SDK tools. This is totally different. This is SDK hooks. Um, here is where you can download it. I'm gonna leave the link in the description, but this is the link. Now, I recommend downloading this one if you open this link you'll be prompt with this huge list so just click here I believe and it should yeah just click this one and extract everything because I think all the files that you need are are in the zip file we are going to need the include files um, and then you're going to need the ex extension to be able to run the plugin. So yeah, just extract everything. If your server is running, just restart it and you should be good to go. So SDK hooks is very powerful and it's very interesting to mess around with. Um to be honest I I haven't messed around much with it, but yeah, it's very cool if you if you know how to use it. So we're going to remove this because I think we're not going to use it at all. So um, if you, well, when you're here, if you check the list of fours you get, you get this one. When the game description is re retrieved, so it has the parameter of game desk and the game description. So this is the function we want, right? Maybe you're saying, okay, but this is gonna get the stuff. It's not going to, like, change it. But yeah, we're going to use a function in source mod to change that string so it changes within the game or the server. So I'm gonna copy this. So wait a second. Okay. Back in the file and let me, let me paste this. Public. Move the semicolon from there, and there we go. Okay, so the first thing we want to do is return plugin continue. Um, you're gonna see why in a second, and if you remember, plugin continue is going to return without and without making like a final change in the game. It's gonna do what the plugin says, and then it's gonna do what the game says, right? But you're gonna see why in a second. Um we're going to change this to on map start if on what uh, and here we wanna make a static boolean um map is map loaded and we're gonna say this is false. So every time we load the map we wanna say is map loaded equals true right and then we're gonna hook plug it public oh my god can't type today on um, map and and we're gonna set this to false right yeah so in here we're going to do a if statement saying okay 
if the map is loaded. Now, why do I do this? Because if the map fails for some reason, we don't want to change the, desc the description because SDK hooks can mess up if you change the description and the server is not loaded on a map. Which is kind of weird because if there's no map to load, the server is just not going to respond. It's going to say, um, it's going to dump some errors to the console and stuff. So, yeah. But just in case, guys, um, just put this here. And here we're going to return plugin changed. Now, this is a new type of return, and it's basically called when you make a a change in the plugin that it's gonna affect the game or the server itself it's gonna affect the, the, the way the game like works it's kinda hard to explain but it's gonna say okay I changed something here so like um, check everything again and reload some stuff kind of think of it that way okay because I think that's the best way to think like th how this function works or return number because this is a number although you see it as a string but yeah it's defined in the include files so yeah think of it that way you tell the server that you changed something and it has to reload some stuff just that so in here when we get the game description, we want to say, well, we want to declare a new variable, which is going to be to be a string, and it's going to be new info. Just call it like that, new info. And I don't know, twenty, yeah. And here we want to put str. Oh my God, being spammed. Uh, what a second. There we go. Um, str. Nope. Uh, copy. There we go. Now this is a new function. It's gonna copy one string to another string. But the thing is, um, this is powerful because it's going to access the memory of this variable and it's going to modify the content of the memory with the new string. So it's going to go ahead and look up this variable in the RAM and once it finds the address it's going to uh, modify it like if you know C++ this is sort of like a pointer or I um, forgot the name well, whatever but yeah think of it as a pointer um, so yeah it's going to access it and force a change on that variable so <clears throat> the destination is going to be of course game desk the length is gonna be well it's 64 but we're gonna do the size of because we're cool and we like to type for nothing and then you want the source the source is gonna be the well where, where you're saving everything so it's gonna be new info okay so change this to 64 we just want to have the same space in both so we're gonna format here and do um, new info max length 64 I don't want to do size of I'm sorry and in here you're gonna write um, anything you want if for example you want something like I don't know my server version and here version and this variable is defined as a number this is completely acceptable and it's going to work but if you want to do a static string like I don't know um, welcome to my server or something like that it's going to work as long as you don't go over 64 characters right if you go over this well some characters are not going to be shown in the screen but yeah well, as you can see here, I compiled the plugin and I put it on my server. And as you can see, here I typed Comex Gaming, and here you can see it says Comex Gaming in the game tab. Okay, this is the game description. It says game. I thought it said um, description, but 
it says again. <laughs> so yeah, anything you put here is gonna show up here. This is the easiest way to do it. Um, honestly, it is. The other way is kind of more complicated. But thanks for watching, guys. Please rate the video up if it helped. If you liked it, whatever. Share it with your friends. Su subscribe to get notified every time I release a new video. And I'm not sure if I'm going to be able to upload a video next week because I have a lot of stuff to do and I don't even have time to do this stuff I need to do. So if there's no um, video next week, I'm sorry and yeah, there's going to be another one the next, the week after that one. So again, thanks for watching guys, um, I hope this helped and if you want the source code, don't forget to private message me. So yeah, I'll see you in the next video. Goodbye.